What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing well. Today we're back in Trailmakers, but we're gonna do something very cool, which is kind of crossout related because we're playing crossout inspired creations. These creations are so good looking and so well done. If you play crossout, you'll immediately recognize them. All right, guys, the first creation is a sidekick drone by 257 The Noob. The sidekick drone in crossout is a drone that you deploy and it will automatically fire at the enemy players. And it looks really accurate. I think the only, can it fire? I don't think it can fire. The only thing he could have done is like maybe add like two smart cannons in the front so it can actually fire and maybe a rotating server so that the gun could shoot and then it would be pretty accurate. Oh my God, it does really too. Mm, yeah, I had a feeling that would happen. Yeah, this psychic drone does like to flip very easily and he said it looks kind of off, but it looks really accurate. This is what it looks like in cross out. The rear is a bit strange, yes, but I love the suspension too. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, this is really good. This is a sidekick drone. This is the first build and it's pretty good, pretty simple. Let's move on to something bigger. Our next creation is a crossout battle truck by Ninja Potato. Um, I don't think this is a vehicle we see in crossout. I do love the way it looks like it has like a bumper in the front. It has like, I love how we add the uh, drive shaft thing there that spins. Um, this one does have control, so we have space, which is for the gun. But in cross out, we do not have um, things that can pop out and shoot, which is kind of unfortunate. If we had that, that would be pretty cool. We have left shift, which helps us with a little speed boost. And we have left control for the horn. And we have number one that does something in the front. I'm not exactly sure what. But yeah, this is a basic. Let's see what happens if we like go down. Let's see how strong this truck is. That's That's actually not bad most build would have been uh, destroyed by now but yeah this is a cross out battle truck not really a cross out looking build but there's cross out in the title so i'm counting it <laughs> what is this all right next up we have cross out mandrake by vlad chima this definitely looks like the mandrake we have in game um looks a bit off though but we have wsd which does nothing <laughs> um if you press a something opens up there i'm not sure what we have space Spaces for like a recoil effect. We have Q and E, that's for rotating. We have one and two. Oh, to aim up, holy crap. Okay, to aim up and then we have click. Okay, it fires two shots, but the Mandrake and cross out fire six shots. And then you need manual. Okay, so if you press click and space, we do the like the recoil effect, which is, you yeah, know, he tried, he tried his best. He tried his best. I believe there is a way to do it automatically, but yeah, I'm no trail maker security either. Well, this is a cross out Mandrake. Looks pretty accurate, but it does not fire six shots, which is disappointing. All right, this is cross out launch truck by Simon Body Code. And this guy basically took two creations, the turret from the sidekick drone, which is a Spectre, which is a machine gun in the back, and the Mandrake build that I showed before this one. And we have a bunch of controls. At least we have a platform to like drive and we have space. Oh, see, this one did put the, the smart cannons in the back there. That's actually pretty good. You should have done that for the, the little sidekick drone. And then we have shift. Horn, we have one. Oh, why is the horn on toggle? Okay, we, we can see. We, there we go. We have a rotating server for our gun as well. That's good. And then we have click. Oh, basically, he used the Mandrick as a cannon this time. I mean, I guess it works, but it's not really a Mandrick. The Mandrake and Crossout is pretty epic, but the truck looks cool though. The truck looks pretty cool. All right, the next creation is called the Crossout Starter Truck by Simon Body Code again. Um, yeah, the Crossout truck is pretty simple. This one has guns as well. I think it's wow, it has a ton of firepower. Why does it jump? Oh, I'm shooting my own tires, lol. Yeah, I'm hurting myself here. We have Q and E as well. I think that's for aiming. Yeah, that's for aiming. And our top gun is not firing for some reason. Oh my god, I shot my whole wheel off. Now, up until this point, I've been showing you guys pretty basic crossout creation. Nothing really insane. But don't worry, after this one, we're gonna get some pretty insane ones. All right, guys, our next creation is the Inventors Pack from Crossout. If you guys know this pack, it's a pretty old pack in Crossout. Probably one of the most expensive packs at, I believe, $70. And yeah, this thing looks really accurate with the quantum cabin, the synthesis, the, the railings there, the golden or the yellow railings. 
and it's using dragon jets as the hovers now this one does have controls i see we have a um, shift i think shift i think shift is for oh, shift is on a toggle but it will yeah it will bring us up if we oh, actually no very tricky to control but yeah this is uh the cross house inventors pack really cool but very very difficult to control oh i see the number one does a thing on the uh the, the hood there in the front it lights up everything i'm not exactly sure why because there's nothing said in the description pretty cool though pretty cool but uh let's move on to the bigger creations all right guys next up we have the cross out dog knight by calvator <laughs> it's a boomstick car <laughs> I never thought I would see this in Trailmaker, but I set up a target for us there. This is basically the Lancelot cars with, I believe, a cockpit cabin. <laughs> it actually kind of works. Oh, we messed up our shell pretty bad, though. Actually, no, we're good. Our, it's just our tires are flat. This is hilarious. We even have hover catchers and everything. Oh, this is so funny. Oh, uh, yeah, this is so funny. We have space armor. Oh, this is so funny. <laughs> oh, God, this is so funny. We need to set up. A, we're going to set up a new target. Hold on, boys. Hold on. All right, guys. Enemy target spotted. Uh, we have space bar. Oh, we even have boosters. We're a boosted lands build. <laughs> we need to repair. Hold on. We need to repair. Oh, this is hilarious, dude. If you guys have ever played cross out, you know why this is so funny for me. Hold on. Oh my god. Steering is so awful though. Hold on. I, I, it, it actually feels really like cross out when driving a boosted car. Oh. <laughs> this is so funny, dude. This is so funny. Oh my god. Each time I... <laughs> Hold on, boys. I need to catch my breath. Ooh, so yeah guys this is the cross out dog night by calvator this is so funny this one is so much fun i, I love this game man i love both cross out and trail makers all right guys check out this creation this is a bigram mechanical leg spider build also by calvator z and x oh we have space armors from the steppenwolf part we have the apollo generator in the back we have Vindicator machine guns. How do we fire? Yeah, we have Vindicator machine guns. And that hole in the middle there is for the Nova cabin. Oh, this is so... Whoa. Oh, we cannot walk, but we can drive. We're basically in wheel mode. Look at the way the mechanical legs... Hold on. Hold on, boys. These are really well designed. Holy crap. This is amazing. Holy crap. We even like have a wedge in the front. Wow. This is so... This is... I, I, I'm blown away. I'm blown away that someone created this. Wow. We need to repair because we broke something there. Uh, so Z and X will... Yeah. That is so cool, guys. You guys have no idea how cool this is. This is so cool. I wonder how effective this... Yeah, let's see how effective it is again, like driving on the terrain here and stuff like that. I'm I'm guessing it would be really difficult to have two modes, like a walking mode and a driving mode in Trail Makers. But this is still pretty impressive. I mean it, oh let's see. Oh that that's actually a good challenge here. It handles the terrain just fine. I believe it also has suspension so you know it has some bounce ability that is even a word yeah there we go yeah this is so cool dude a bigram spider build in trail makers this has to be the thumbnail but i gotta find the right spot yeah this is definitely gonna be the thumbnail holy crap this is so awesome um i don't think there's anything else it can do besides this Let's go up here and see, like, just see the handling. Oh, oh, we, oh, we shattered our whole leg. Yep. You know, I was waiting for that. I had a feeling it was uh, too good to be true. Hold on, let's repair because we shattered 
a whole leg of our oh oh that's it oh crap uh, you know what guys i think this is it <laughs> i think this is oh yep there it goes there it goes still pretty impressive though still very very impressive creation here and when you lose legs it even behaves like a cross out creation when you lose legs this is so cool this is really cool i love this this is really awesome all right next up we have another hover creation by let's see here vehicle from cross out with icarus 4 engines and three times raptor i think he means rapier uh, auto cannons and weapon by simon oh this one has a very aggressive um correction there but we can move forward pretty fast we can move backward pretty fast can we strafe we can also strafe oh, okay this one is really cool um let's see here wsd we have left one. Oh, that's for the guns up and down okay that's for the guns and 20 for strafe and left click is fire yeah so basically the auto cannon the uh, the timing for the hover control is pretty good it's really aggressive, but it's pretty spot on, I would say. No, well, not spot on. Spot on is perfect. But it's good enough to work. It's good enough to work. Yeah, it does definitely feel like a cross out, a wonky cross out hover in a <laughs> cross out. This is cool. Instead of using the hover pads. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I don't know what happened to the game, but ever since the, uh, they added the, um, the space update, Whenever you lose a dragon jet, it becomes this weird liquidy blobby weird looking thing at silver. Uh, but yeah, this thing, I would say it works. Let's see what happens if we go on a jump. Yeah, see the weird blobby thing there. I don't know what it is. But yeah, this build is pretty cool, pretty cool. Now we do have a few more builds, so let's not keep you guys waiting and see what the other creations are like. All right, guys, our next creation is also by Calvator, and this is supposed to be a Typhoon Hover with the Omnibox, a sideways Omnibox cabin. That's hilarious. So we have, uh, I believe, G and X activates the boosters and the stabilization. We have left alt that disables something if you want to drop down and space to go up. Now, this is not a hover which you can control like low to the ground. This is basically a hover that flies in the air. And we have a cannon, we have Typhoon cannons. And they fire a little bit higher than the crosshair because they're using the piston glitch. But, you know, they work. And I believe if you want to go down, we hold left alt. And then we drop down really fast, but we don't want to drop down super well. Oh my god, yeah. We drop down a little bit too fast. Let's repair mid air. Yeah, we drop down a little bit too fast. But yeah, this is another hover that works really well. If you just want to hovercraft for the air, this layout works really well. I'm not sure if it will work in space, but with zero gravity or like 1G gravity, it um, works pretty well. Works pretty well. I'm not sure if you can do black flips though. Let's no, I don't think you can do rolls, but man, you lose control very, very quick. Yeah, that's true. Kind of stabilized out there though, but yeah, it's a it's a hard hover to control. Not gonna lie, very very tricky to control. But yeah, this is a typhoon hover by Calvator. Our next creation is by Major Six Seven Zero Three Four. New Trail Makers Meta Triple Cannon Hover would be better with a Colossus engine or a stronger cabin, but this will do for now. This is a little floaty, so be careful of steep cliffs, but also press space to lift, and you'll be fine. Cross out players enjoy WASD QE movement, left click, long distance shot, right click, medium range shot. Interesting. 95% of the logic at the back inside of the Apollo generator. So don't expose that too long. So space to lift up. Okay, for okay, okay, cool. Okay. So this one uses the new thrusters, like the new space thrusters. And right click for oh right click for medium shot, medium range shot. And left click, let's wait for the reload for long range shot yeah it uses the piston yeah the piston glitch okay cool um this one is yeah this is a cannon hover as well looks really accurate it looks like a photon cabin with the structures to be honest with some space armor in the front this is so cool though this looks really really cool yeah this is so uh the, the hovers are really impressive i haven't paid enough attention but hold on we have q and e we have backward and forward it basically has all the controls that's very interesting very impressive 
and we can move forward at a pretty oh it even has a listener radar down below that is so hilarious out of all the hovers this one is probably the most stable yeah look at that we're floating just fine uh, we can even do the sideways straving thing that we do in cross out yeah holy crap yeah you can stop on a well not on a dime but kind of like cross out i do oh man i'm so impressed by this creation i mean the fact that he figured out the logic for everything is really impressive very impressive the only thing it doesn't have is hinges but we do not have mouse aim, aim in this game so it makes sense that he does not have that but yeah other than that so i i want to aim up but i can't because of the you know the there's no hinges for the, the cannons but yeah the hovers are what really impresses me look at that it even stables out like that holy crap it definitely has some logic and a distance sensor from the ground and these are the oh he even put out oh, man the attention to detail he even put the apc roof parts like the little gaps like windows that is so cool the triangular pieces that is so cool i'll try to recreate something like this in cross out and have it on the screen as well so you guys can see oh i know how he was able to achieve it it's the balloons the balloons give us a steady lift so we don't fall down too fast that is smart that is really smart that's why it's so stable very cool though very cool very cool very cool so yeah guys that was it for the cross out creations in trail makers most of the builds there were really really cool there were not a lot of cross out creations but the ones i found were pretty cool now this is not a cross out creation this is a canon gatling cannon version 2 by Vashili. or let's see fishly fishly sorry about that fishly and this one's pretty cool so we got left for the firing we got left shift that opens them up and then space for the other direction that's funny and then you can basically have a gatling cannon cannon which is devastating look at that that is so cool that is so cool so cool you guys make some awesome creations in frame makers but yeah that was it man i hope you guys enjoyed and if you did i hope i earned your subscription i'll see you guys in the next one also don't forget to follow me on twitch because i stream on the weekend and watching another one of my videos right after this one because that really helps out with the algorithm and if you do all of that you can see that as your good deed of the day and you might win a million dollars i'll see you guys in the next one have a great day peace